Hey folks, uh, Roger Saban back at you here with another video. <clears throat> um, I know a lot of you that watch my channel used to be doing, used to be uh, doing a lot of reviews on phones and tech stuff and things like that. But uh, really, the original reason that I started this channel um, was really geared to focus more on outdoorsy stuff, and I have a ton of it, and I just really haven't gotten a chance uh, uh, to get around to it. I mean, I love the tech stuff. But, you know, I really want to kind of get back and focus more on the outdoorsy stuff. Options, really, really super budget-friendly options in the ultralight world um, that you may not have known about. Um, I think most of you know uh, of the really expensive, you know, brands like Z-Packs and Hyperlite Mountain Gear and Granite Gear and things like that. You know, you're spending a couple hundred dollars on a backpack that weighs next to nothing. And... Um, that's just not really in everybody's budget. So today I have two different packs, and they're both ultra, ultra light. They're both under 30 bucks. You can really find them for 20. There is the Axeman um, 30 liter ultra light bag. This bag weighs 11.288 ounces, under 12 ounces, this bag. And uh, I'm sure you all kind of recognize the design of this bag the mesh front, the mesh side, the pockets. Um, you know, the fold down top with, with the clips that, that, that buckle in, the shock cordage on the side. It, it's a familiar design on ultralight packs. And um, like I said, this one I got for like 20 bucks off of AliExpress. And then they're here, which is the Modes uh, backpack. This is 1.1 pounds. Again, ripstop nylon. Uh, Bit, this is a 40 liter pack and a, a bit more features in this pack than, uh, than in this pack. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about both of them, you know, whether you should or shouldn't consider them. Um, all I got to say is if, if you're not looking to spend crazy amounts of money, um, either one of these packs I think would be a pretty good option for you, um, especially the Mo Days. But this one it would be a cool bag to buy. It's kind of like a project bag if you wanted to add a couple of things to it. So I'm going to uh, get into both of these bags right now, and uh, we'll move on from there. So first off, this is the Axeman 30 liter ultra, ultra light bag. Like I said, it's 11.288 ounces, <clears throat> under 12 ounces. That is about as light as you can find, and there really is nothing to it. It is 20D ripstop nylon, you know, some mesh in the front, mesh on the sides. Uh, it has the fold down top. Shoulder straps that are really, really, really flimsy. Um, I wish they had gone a little heavier on the straps. Like, they, they really did everything they could to save the weight. I mean, yeah, the nylon um, sides of the straps are probably durable enough to hold up, but the mesh in the middle, I don't know. Um, my original intention for buying this bag <clears throat> was to add a sternum strap here, get an aftermarket sternum strap, add that. Uh, there is a waist belt on this. Both of these, by the way, are foldable um, pack-away uh, bags, so they fold into themselves and into next to nothing. But again, on the Modes, you have uh, the waist belt with a clip, and that's actually pretty substantial, but the pockets are tiny. They're not good for much. I mean, I have a little a, a, a hand sanitizer thing that I fit in there. Uh, they barely fit in there. Um, so my idea was to put a sternum strap on this and um, maybe just get some pouches, some really lightweight pouches to put on here, and then I'd kind of be really set to go. Now... After having received this bag, obviously this is not how you would pack this bag. I just put some stuff in there to kind of show you, um, you know, what it kind of looks like packed. But, you know, with these frameless packs, these are both frameless packs, by the way. Um, these frameless packs, you really have to be careful as to how you uh, um, pack these to, to, to leave them comfortable. Uh, right now I have about 11 pounds in there, and it has most of what you would have in a normal kit. Uh, like I said, it folds out. There is, there you go, you 
unravel it, unclip it, folds out. There's some really kind of cheap Velcro on the top. Uh, it doesn't exactly install confidence. You can see this is already just shredding up. I, I would absolutely replace that with better quality Velcro. But again, remember, under 12 ounces, under 30 bucks. That's pretty rare. Um, you know, I got a little cup here. You know, a little stainless steel. I have a titanium set, but I just wanted to pack this up. So a little uh, uh, stainless steel cup here, a little fuel canister, uh, sleeping bag. Uh, there's one of my uh, base layers. Some wool socks. Uh, I got my tent in here. This is a. Uh, oh, actually, no. This is a Fox Outfitters um, uh, self-inflating pad. Uh, again, I would not pack this bag like this. Um, but just want to stuff up a little cap. My tent is the nature of the target too. I love this tent. Probably going to go with something a little bit lighter. Although this is pretty light and pretty roomy and uh, extremely versatile. I mean, you can actually pitch this as a standalone tent. It's, it, it's a knockoff of a Tark Tent Double Rainbow. This tent, tiny bit heavier than the Double Rainbow, but um, a very good value tent. And I like this tent a lot. But again, if I was to pack uh, this tent in this bag, I would pull it out of this bag, stuff the tent part in the bag on its own, pull the poles out, and put them probably in the side pockets or something. What else do I got? There's the yeah, underwear. And yeah, that's all I have in the main compartment and on the front. I don't know how well you can see this or not. Snap down. Got a little frog togs rain jacket. Little first aid kit. Spork. Again, I wouldn't pack it like this. A little chamois cloth. Got a toothbrush, water filtration, little pair of gloves. A little uh, Nalgene flight. So there's the bag with basically nothing. Let me pull this out just like that. So that's kind of what it looks like without it. You can see. Now, I was maybe hoping for a little bit. You can see how much extra you have in that roll down flap. Just to give you an idea here. I don't know how well you can see that or not. <clears throat> um, I guess when I ordered it, considering its weight, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. The build quality on this is not the best I've ever seen. It looks like single stitches around the seams. This is a very, very, very lightweight nylon. Um, there is quite a bit of capacity in it, I will say that. Um, but I think for this particular bag, um, this would be kind of a cool project bag to turn into something much better. Um, if I have a alterations guy, a seamster, seamstress person down the street, I would probably get these stitch, this stitch kind of reinforced, you know, double stitched all the way around. I would get better Velcro on the top if Velcro even came the way that I was going to choose to seal this. Um, a sternum strap here. I would definitely get a sternum strap here. But there's no need for load lifters because you're going to be carrying such a lightweight load in here. Um, some sternum straps, but these are so flimsy, I'm not even sure how effective sternum straps would be. So I might even get rid of these. These are, you know, not the greatest things in the world. Um, these the, the, the hip belts, yeah, there are pouches out there that are really lightweight that I can sort of put over these or place around the hip belts to make it, you know, more storage friendly. You know, this mesh, it's not really a stretch mesh. That's a little bit of a bummer. But there is plenty of capacity, more than enough to fit water bottles in there. This is plenty big, this front pocket. But again, 12 ounces, under 30 bucks. Uh, I mean, and closer to 20, if I'm being completely honest. 12 ounces. 
this would be fine to take on a day hike, even a two day, three day hike through hike. No way. Uh, you certainly have to, uh, uh, reinforce the bag with stitch, um, which is not a big deal. You would be adding barely any weight to it. Um, I would definitely say sternum straps and possibly one is get rid of it. You can see that it's mesh here in the middle and they just went a little too far with how light they wanted to expect. But again, that is oh, I mean, 11.288 ounces for that price. I do actually like the design of the bag. I like that it has that Z-Pax hyper light granite gear type of design with the mesh on the front and the sides. And then you have the shock footage on both sides of the bag to pull everything in real tight and get it real snug. It just needs to be, <clears throat> if you really wanted to take this particular bag seriously, opposite of that, this is the Mo Days 40 liter pack. Uh, Again, ripstop nylon, uh, weighs 1.1 pounds, which is still ultra, ultra, ultra light. I've used this pack a lot on bikes. It's really well made. The stitching is very good. Again, this is a pack away, zips into itself kind of pack. Um, it's very durable. The buckle certainly is good. Um, for only a little more weight, the build quality on this is 50 times better than that thing. But it's about five, six ounces heavier. So that's not nothing for those that count ounces, which, you know, in the ultralight world, you do. But it's a much thicker nylon. The stitch is much, you can just see the, the, the works and shit so much better. The nylon pockets, or just the uh, mesh, sorry, the stretch, uh, the mesh on the side pockets is a stretch mesh. That's what you want. They shouldn't use that mesh on this bag. Um, I wish that this had a big front mesh pocket. I guess that's something you could always add um, instead of just shock cordage. But the shock cordage, you know, you can uh, you can definitely um, strap down anything you need with that shock cordage. Um, the reason this has a larger capacity, the main compartment is definitely not bigger than it is in the Axeman bag over here. But there are a lot of extra pockets and way more features on this bag. You can see you have mounting loops on the top of the bag. You have a large top pocket in the top of the bag. So if you're an organizational freak um, or an organization blah blah freak, uh, this will give you a lot more storage options. So that's so this is the hood of the bag. Um, and there's the main compartment. Can't hold them by rope and seize it up. And I guess you could even take this hood off, but why would you? Um, I just have a bunch of stuff kind of packed away in here so you can see it. So if there's a main compartment, there is a bladder. There's even a bladder compartment in here, a water bladder compartment, and another pocket. This is actually the pocket that the bag zips up into itself. So it all packs away to a bag that big, which is really cool too. 1.1 pounds. Super lightweight. I mean, you can read the reviews on this bag. I, mean, I can tell you myself, I've taken it out on really long bikes, multi-day hikes. This bag's a really good value for under 30 bucks. Um, sometimes with these light frameless packs, what I'll do is I'll take a piece of another corrugated plastic. You see like election signs and stuff. And I'll measure it out and frame out the back to give you a little bit more of a rigid, give you some kind of frame, a rigid, rigidity. They weigh nothing. It's a really cheap fix. And it works. In this particular bag, I slide it right into the water bladder, and I've got myself a, a, a really lightweight frame. So you have the top pocket, the main compartment, two stretch mesh pockets, shock cordage on the front to mount everything down and get everything real, real tight, which you can do. I've actually found this bag to be too big at times for the ultra light that I like to go out with about 10 to 12 pounds, um, and I could lighten it up more. I don't have all the gear that I need to, to really get my pack as light as I want it to be, but I'm getting close. <clears throat> um, let's see what else. Oh, I didn't show you the back of the bag. So, you know, these shoulder straps, yeah, there's, they're not exactly like all heavy duty, but they have some padding in them. They're reinforced with nylon in the middle, not just mesh. You know, they have mounting D-rings <clears throat> over here. 
This one has a built-in adjustable sternum strap um, with a whistle. Let's see what I did here. Uh, now this one has a built-in sternum strap with a whistle. The whistle's not much, um, but that's adjustable. So you can get it real nice and tight to your back with the, with the adjustments, the adjustment buckles on the straps. <clears throat> um, the waist belts on this, now while they're not huge, they are that same stretch, the bottom of them. It's a really clever design. The bottom of these is the stretch mesh that you see on the side pockets and then the ripstop nylon. Much larger, easier usable waist belt. Hip belts, I should say. You know, nice, heavy duty, thick, you know, belt. Uh, nice, heavy duty, thick, clip in hip belt. That, that's not going anywhere. The, the hardware on this bag, far better. Um, and again, these, these bags are the same price. Um, also, another cool little thing is there's a little stash. It's just a much more well thought out bag. There's a little stash underneath of the hip belt pockets. So you could throw even a little nylon, a little sill nylon jacket in there. You could stash all kinds of stuff in there. Um, so this bag here is durable. And I've even seen that some people have even taken these on like AT through hikes. There's also trekking pole attachment loops here. It's just all in all a, a, a much better, much better crafted bag. Same price, you're gaining a few ounces. But this one, you get this one and you're ready to go. Like you can you can load it up, take it out, you're carrying it something. It's very comfortable on the back. Even you don't have to be quite as careful in packing this as you would something like this. Um, but if there's a complete, complete ounce for yeah, I mean 12 ounces, man. And bottom line is this one, you can buy 1.1 pound. It's ready to go. You don't even need to put it in the back frame. I do sometimes. Sometimes I don't. I'm a larger guy, 6'2", 210. This bag fits me. Uh, I can adjust it to get absolutely exactly where I want it to be, make it real comfortable and tight on my back. No issues whatsoever. This bag, I would say you would buy more as a project bag. You would want to make some alterations to this bag before you really want to rely on it and take this thing out. Um, it's just not made to the same level. And yes, it's made to be lighter. It literally weighs nothing. Um, you have to be really careful about the way you pack this bag. And I, I would certainly do some alterations to this bag before I would actually take it out on anything more than a couple of hours. This one, though, ready to rock and roll with this thing. Anyway, I hope um, that was informative to you. The ultra lighters on the budget. I mean, I got to tell you, like, uh, there are options out there. You don't need to spend all that crazy money, uh, especially because you're not carrying heavy loads. So you're not putting a lot of strain on those bags. You know, the Moday's 40 liter, great, great pack, ready to go. Highly recommend it. And this axe man. You know, if you're somebody who's kind of crafty and you can maybe do some of your own sewing, or if you have somebody you really trust to do it, the Saxman 30 liter, you want that ultra light, you know, a Z pack style, hyper light granite gear style bag, and you're willing to do a little work to it. I think you've got something to work with here, uh, but it, it, it will need a, a little bit of work. But if you're only spending 20 bucks on the bag, you put thirty, forty dollars into this thing, and you might have something very different from that, and a really good deal on your hands. So I hope that was informative. Please click subscribe. Um, we really want to grow the page. It, it seems really, really kind of like it's plodding along. I understand I'm not doing like the highest quality videos in the world, but um, if you like what you see, please subscribe, hit the bell notification thing, and I will see you on the next video.